Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What's going on, YouTube? It's Filthy, and we're back with another video. Everybody's favorite shard opening. Uh, we're on the free to play today. The last two shard videos we did did not go well. Uh, we opened our voids on the main account and got royally stiffed. We opened our sacreds for the OL of using and got royally stiffed. So hopefully this one will be better. Um, the account obviously is quite new. We've got the six champs, or five champs, sorry, at six star 60, which is basically our clan boss team. The Ronda, Kale in for damage and for poison. The Sandra for turn meter boost and speed. We've got Relic Tender to give a little bit of decreased attack. A cleanse, continuous heal. She's not actually in life still, so she always dies first. That's something we might have to think about re-gearing her out of this relentless set. And we've also got Colin here, who's doing a little bit of HP burn. Decreased attack, uh, which is here. Not very consistent, which is a little bit annoying. And she does also do a can't remove it strengthen, or bit the small one. So if we don't get a decreased attack champion, we maybe have got, we've got Bog Walker somewhere to invest in. See in here in the vault. Yeah, we've got a Bog Walker, so we could build him maybe for Clan Boss. Uh, I'm not sure it's worth it because at the end of the day, still rare. Uh, and if we come up absolutely bang crap out of luck with these next pulls, well, we do have Gambo, who we can 60 because he would be an AoE Arena Nuka. Uh, because I can't really see, unless we get a better Poisoner today, we can maybe swap Kale over to be on Nuka. Um, Rhonda, I think, is probably going to stay in her lifesteal for a while uh, simply because she's just. She's brilliant in arena with a lockout. Um, you know, that's really useful. It's really useful for Doom Tower, really useful in a lot of places. So I think she's going to stay in life still for a little while. Bellower, we could do. Uh, we've also got Shield Guard, Armor Gear, and then a couple other like 40s that maybe we could 50. If we don't get AoE decreased defense today, uh, War Maiden might well have to come up to 50. Uh, again, obviously, she's rare, so cheaper to build, but ultimately, end game wise, um, I think looking at the characters end game wise, as things stand at the moment, Armager and Bellower look probably the best shouts. Banax maybe for helping with uh, dungeons. In terms of progress, we're on 16, so stage 16 for Ice Golem. No real problems with that, not particularly fast, but it's okay. Uh, we're on 16 for Dragon, easy peasy. Uh, Dragon definitely the easiest dun dungeon. Finite, we are on 16. This is not as easy because our Armager is only level 50. Uh, the other two teams are running those basically five, six stars that we showed earlier. And then Spider, who cares? 10 is bugged, so we'll play this for a little while until we get an AoE HP burner. So who do we want out of these shards? Well, an AoE HP burner would be nice. Um, somebody with decreased attack would be nice. AoE decreased defense would be nice. Uh, continuous heal. Um, defense up block buffs just anybody we've got roughly a 50 50 chance of getting a legendary um doesn't work quite like that but it's not a million miles off um so yeah let's just put one two three four five six seven of these away in here we have our 50 slots um yeah <laughs> this is a um 50 shots i can't really see it's getting many more over the next few days uh, so this is basically what the roster is going to look like uh, for the next, I don't know, six weeks or so. We do have a couple of sacreds. We're going to try and save them for the next fusion. Voids, again, we might try and save for the next fusion. And mystery shards we're running low on because obviously we haven't popped the ancient shards. So we haven't had champions to train. Uh, oh, the other thing before we pull faction wars wise, basically we're really struggling on orcs, ogre and tribes. I mean that you know these all catch up once we gear up uh, champs like revenants, lizard men, demon spawn. So basically, we just need uh, more champs to basically beat the boss on the, all of the opening stages, uh, first boss level to get the energy. <sighs> Wish me luck. I mean, we should get we should get like I don't know seven or eight epics. This is it. Don't get scared now. 50 50 on a legendary. So we just do them at five temples. Epic, good start. Oh, it's gold! <gasps> Let's strike him off! No way! Oh my god. Great success. 
<laughs> and then a wheel a laugh. High five. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, well, let's kale out the clan boss team. Um, oh, this is insane. Four hit random, big poison, uh, which is just huge. He does AoE decrease defense and weaken. Oh, what a champion. Uh, faction Cryptora 50. I don't have him on my main. I remember three years ago starting this game, Draco Morph Gaze, uh, when they actually gave one of these out to a free. Uh, the first person to cliff faction was, I think, they gave him a free Draco Morph. Big kickoff in the community. I'm absolutely stoked with this. What a champion. I uh, don't have one on the main, so that's going to be really good. Uh, Pistolus one, I don't think is particularly good. Uh, he crits and fills his own turn meter. He does have an AoE um, on his A3, but it doesn't really do anything other than boost his own turn meter. Each crit uh, heals himself for 15%. So. Uh, maybe for faction was 40 and then maybe a chicken after that. I don't know. I've never built a pistolless one. Um, so again, maybe we'll see who else we get. Uh, we've got a dupe candle guard, heiress, assassin, maiden. Ravechill killer, we do actually have the champ that pairs really well with her, which is uh, Frozen Banshee. So that's a potential. Again, put big on poison. Magic affinity as well, though. So now that we've got Draco Morph, um, we probably wouldn't be messing around with Grave. Uh, chill killer, or bitch, you could be decent for faction wars. Ill Nomad is trash. Uh, Blood Mask, I don't think is particularly good. Um, but yeah, Woo -hoo -hoo. now that is quite a nice start. I mean, we don't need any more shards, we do it done. Oh, Fane, another poisoner, man. Wow. Okay, so Fane actually is like the um, worst version of Draco Morph. So she does, uh, she does do decreased attack, which is nice for clan boss. Um, she also does poison. She does decreased defense and weaken. Uh, and she also does a little bit of turn meter still. Clan boss champion, I use her in my ultra nightmare um, team now still on my account that's three years old. So a great pull, uh, less of a great pull given that we've just got Drake Morph, but she is different affinity. Um, and she, yeah, she's a good champion basically. Great success. So wow, uh, Lady Annabelle, I've never built this champion. Uh, supports, attacks on an enemy two times, each hit heals her, uh, that's not great. AoE, AoE leech for two turns, AoE decrease speed for two turns uh, on targets for less than 50% turn meter. So clan boss potential leech, that's quite nice. Uh, decrease speed is really good. Um, you know, that's a nice buff as well, debuff. HP swap. Uh, if this champion's HP is equal or higher, places revive on death on target ally for two turns. So she swaps with an ally or revive on deaths them. If this champion's HP is lower, revive on death for two turns on her. Also increase speed on all allies to speed up and revive on death. Nice. And heals her whenever an ally or enemy dies. She looks sweet. Uh, Bandlord. That, uh, that is an interesting champ. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we've got three to build out a spare grey beard here as well. Uh, we are struggling for control champions still. Um, so we might have to build him. So that's like a skill book or a faction guardian. Lamella, rubbish, rotten mage, siege break, arcanist, hill nomad, penitent, all rubbish. Up here, I think we've got another hill nomad so we can stick her in the faction crypt for the bonus. And we press. Ooh, a spare bog walker and another great bit. Right, uh, 10 rares, nothing particularly great here, I don't think. Mother Superior is an okay rare. Uh, Sacred Order were absolutely stacked on champs for all though. Uh, she does do continuous heal and shield, so faction was maybe, but I think we are pretty pretty stacked. Bog walker is uh, good. Decreased attack uh, is handy. We might just simply go for the Fane now. And we've pulled her. Uh, Kizator is terrible. Tree Faller, I don't think is good. She might be used in the Razen Fusion. Kudula, I don't think is good either. Uh, there's not much going on in his particular kit. And then Purgator, again, I don't really think you want to be building this guy. Um, rare champion, not great. Right, do we pull the rest of the shards? Because we've got a couple of champs to build here. Solid. Let's just go for it. 
I'm going for Faction Wars, aren't we? Vergus, brilliant. Dupe Hiker Toon, <laughs> another Hill Nomad. Ironclad is useful. Adachi is very useful. To Vergus, uh, he's also going to be a champ we're going to want to build because he does uh, reflect damage. He does continuous heal, increased speed buff on a target for three turns. Ally protect, increased defense uh, on himself, which is nice. It's passive where he gains his shield um, whenever he loses 10% from a single hit. Continuous heal every time their HP drops below 50%. Brilliant champion. Again, his spirit affinity was swimming in spirit affinity champs. Uh, Judge, we actually pulled out Mystery Shards the other day. Decent champ for faction walls or for secret rooms. Lots of debuffs here on his A3. Um, so he's, I guess, again, another faction guardian um, or a skill book. Uh, Adachi is good because he does block buffs and small increased defense. Um, so, you know, we don't really have much increased defense. He is Force Affinity, which we like. 25% uh, Dungeon Aura. AoE Shield uh, on himself afterwards. And uh, a smallish Provoke chance. He's a decent rare. That's a good pickup. Sanctum Protector, again, is decent. He does uh, increase defense after an AoE. Uh, it is the small version again, though. Uh, much higher chance of provoke but on our cooldown for this guy and then small chance of stun seizing kind of quasi control champion as well uh hiker tune obviously we're currently in the process of making her our speed booster in arena even though we do have lissandra um lissandra is in the clan boss team so unless that changes uh in which case we'd swap her but we now have essentially three turn meter boosters tag arena hiker tune number one hiker tune number two and lissandra so that is pretty sweet uh, is this last temple or have we got one more? I can't remember. I'm too excited. Hill Nomad. How many Hill Nomads? Uh, Surin. Shadowkin Epic. Nice. Muck Stalker. That saves his farm in the campaign. Uh, so that is decent. Uh, so what have we got here? Attacks on enemy. 40% chance of poison. This is the poison pulls. We're going crazy with poison. She has weaken. Again, this is just all our champions do poison and weaken. This is quite funny. Uh, AoE, 60% uh, chance of placing, 60% decreased defense for two turns. Only books up to 80% though. Uh, so we could use it for the AoE decreased defense, but it's only going to be 80, 85% if we put into masteries. Uh, nice 60 accuracy in dungeons though. That could be handy. Um, whilst before we fill out our accuracy banners. Right, so that is it. We've popped all the shards. Uh, let's just have a little look. Who else did we get? Drake Muff. I mean, that's amazing. That's absolutely insane. Uh, right, so we got. There was another couple of interesting rares that we've managed to pick up. This is four hill now. But at least the, the barbarian uh, faction guardian is totally sorted. Uh, was there anybody else we saw? War maiden, not war maiden. War priest, my least favourite. Uh, we've managed to pick her up. Uh, Temptress is not very good. Death Chance is not very good. Witness is not very good. Stout Axeman. Uh, nothing on his A1. Reflect damage on himself. Uh, random ally. Provoke. No, I don't think he's particularly useful. Life Taker for the Shadowkin, I think, can be decent. Uh, she's got heal reduction on her A1. She will do a triple hit on her A2. Each hit will decrease turn meter a little bit. Uh, third hit does the big version of decrease speed for two turns. That's kind of nice. And then her third skill, veil and reflect damage on her. So there's maybe something we could do with her, possibly. We still got no control champs. That's the uh, that's the the downside of this. Um, picked up one, two, three, four, five, six epics in the legend. That's pretty good going. Uh, but obviously, star of the show is going to be Dracomorph. Uh, I can't believe we've got Dracomorph. That's just going to send our sky, send our sky, send our clan boss damage to the moon. Um, in terms of control, I guess we're maybe building Valor in the stun set, relying on this block active skills. And then I think we're probably going to have to do Greybeard at least to 50. Uh, and also, where is he? Our man Templar. Is he in the vault? Yeah, this guy. 
uh, Templar as a control champ because we are just really struggling for control at the moment. We've got no like AOE stuns, provokes, freezes, nothing like that. Um, Drake off fantastic. How many books have we got? We've got three legendary books. So that is that is interesting. Uh, does he start off with the? Look at this. He starts off with it's hundred percent chance, and he places it. So there's no weak hits. That's AOE decrease defense for everybody. Uh, See, so you know, I mean, he's just an instant sixty, isn't he? He's an S tier champion. Weaken as well, which is handy. So that should speed up our times, I guess, on a lot of things. And then, yeah, poison, tasty rice. Well, that went much better than the last couple of videos. Hope you enjoyed it. I've been the filthy casual. Take it easy, guys. Peace.